In this problem, we are finding the odds in favor or the odds against an event happening. And if you look down to the bottom of the page, we've got some formulas here for those odds. Uh, they're calling the event E, and M is the number of favorable outcomes, that is, the thing that you want to happen. And N is the number of unfavorable outcomes, the thing you don't want to happen. The odds in favor of something is the number of things you want to happen over the number of things you don't want to happen. And odds against, you just flip that upside down. This is a little bit different from how we've been expressing probability. Uh, in probability, you have the odds that you want to happen over the total number of possible outcomes. Here, we don't have a total. We just have the, the odds, uh, the, the number of outcomes of things you want to happen versus the number of outcomes of things you don't want to happen. The total number of outcomes would be those two added together. But we don't do that when we're expressing odds. All right, let's try this in the context of a, an actual problem. Uh, let me read this. It says, Lena and Scott are at the grand opening of celebration or grand opening celebration of a supermarket. They each spin a wheel with 10 equal size slices as shown below. When the wheel is spun, the arrow stops on a slice at random. If the arrow stops on the border of two slices, the wheel is spun again. That last bit about spinning the wheel again on a border, it means we can just kind of ignore the border parts. We don't need to think about it. We've got 10... Um, slices here. Three of them are black, four of them are white, three of them are gray, um, and we can use that for our odds in favor or against. A says, if the arrow stops on a black or white slice, then Lena wins a gift card. Find the odds against Lena winning a gift card. Okay, so let's look at favorable and unfavorable, and I'm just going to label our diagram. It says, if it stops on black or white, Lena wins a gift card. So that would be favorable, black or white. So this is favorable, 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 and this is favorable. That is seven favorable. The unfavorables are just the grays. She doesn't win anything there. So there are three of those. Now we want odds against winning a gift card. So we go to our odds against formula. We put the unfavorables on top and the favorables on the bottom. Well, the unfavorables is three, and the favorables are seven. So the odds against Lena winning a gift card is three over seven. All right, let's try B. It says, if the arrow stops on a gray or white slice, then Scott wins a gift card. So now gray and white are favorable. So favorable, 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 favorable. Uh, favorable, favorable. Again, that is, did I miss one? Nope, that's seven. And the unfavorable are the three black ones this time. And then it says, uh, find the odds in favor of Scott winning a gift card. So we want the favorables on top and the unfavorables on the bottom. So the favorables, that's seven. And the unfavorables is three. So seven thirds would be the odds in favor of Scott winning a gift card. So that's a little bit of work with odds in favor and odds against.